Hey everybody, it's Mario Time 1000, and today we are on a table. The reason we're on a table today and not the carpet is because we're not looking at a Thomas today. We are looking at a this. A this thing right here that has details, and the carpet area is too dark probably to see them, so I'll be on a table for any of these NASCAR reviews, and I'll be on the floor for any Thomas reviews. If there's a special occasion. Or I need to switch it up, then I will. But today we are looking at this this package right here. It's too big to fit in the thing. And today it's just a NASCAR. I'm assuming it is. What if it isn't? Then? Feels like it is. I don't know what one it is. I'm pretty sure I know what one it is, but I cannot confirm it's the one that I think it is. So we're just going to look. I got a cat. Go cat. Go. I don't want you. Ugh. Bubble wrap. I can't get around that. Oh, there's a lot of... Hang on. Alright, alright. For the pull-out. Oh, it's open already? Okay, that's not good. Oh, there's the... Wow, great packaging there it is all right so i apologize for that random cut but we had a cat okay but this wow <laughs> did not come through the mail very well at all um from the box this car looks pretty good which is i'm hoping it'll be the same for when it's out of the box because from past 2015 cars you might not be able to see it, but there's a indent right above the grill. Yeah, they put the stickers on too low, so I've not been pleased with that. This 3M one was alright, but that, that Drive Fan Hunger one was not. But anyway, let's not delay. The the mailman, the, the mail delivery are open, already opened this one for me, so... I like to save these boxes, but it looks like this one is not going to be saved. Let's get out of there. Ooh. Okay, yeah, it's, it's bending. This, this door right here is bent. It's working against me. I'm trying to fish this one out. Oh, it's... Oh, oh, oh. There we are. All right. Oh, no. Okay. I thought I thought this was loose and it was coming off. Wheels are loose, but that I've come to expect that. Take a look at the front. I'm sorry, I'm not really showing it in camera. Take a look at the front. Looks pretty good. Looks very good actually. I'm, I hate to say I'm surprised. This is right where the spoiler is. I think the decal's up on the back a little bit. If you could see that, I'll grab another car just to show that, ah, oh, that was a bad example, because it's black already. Look at that. Spoilers. This one's a little bit wrong, too, but, so the back is a little bit bad, but, hey, can't have everything. But the sides and the front are wonderful. Let's take a look at the top. I'm assuming since there's detail way up here, it's supposed to be that, the 24 is supposed to be that far back. Here's the name on the top. All right, it's looking great. Really good. And I actually do have the 2014 version of this car. You're not seeing double. This is last year, and this is this year's. You can see there's a difference in the body shape. That's just because this one is one of the thin Goodyear wheels and stuff, and this one has the thick ones. Let's do a close-up of this. So the front looks just about the same. The sides are probably where the most different are. Take a look at that. There's a huge difference. There's blue outlining. There's like a different sort of shape of flames. The flames are kind of smaller on the 2015. And obviously here's the back thing. There's no 3M logo on the 2014. Obviously you can sponsor it that back then. Back then I'm saying like 2014 happened so long ago. Here's the back. Obviously, that this one has sort of an air on the back, but other than that, it's pretty good. Other side is the exact same thing as the first side. 
Don't need to show that up. Now the tops. Yep, 2000, uh, 24 is a lot bigger on the 2014, but other than that, the tops are the same. Nothing of interest on the bottom, except for the fact that this has rivets and this has screws. And the splitter is a different color. So there it is. There is the, it's right here, the 2015 Exalta. I, didn't, I don't think I ever said what it was. Jeff Gordon, do I recommend this? If, if you collect them, then yeah, because it is different than this. If you're just buying NASCARs for no real reason, then you don't really need it unless you want it. Of course, I'm not going to say no unless you want it. But other than that, they're, they're very inconsistent. So just because mine is good, yours doesn't isn't guaranteed. Like, I, I might actually... Camera falling. <laughs> I might actually want to get another one of these just to see if they're all bad. But, hey, we don't know yet. So, yeah, I think that this is definitely a good car. It looks great. The black on it looks great. It's a little bit... It, it's something you won't really be able to see in camera, but there's, like, dust on it or something. Let me try to focus it. It's kind of like dust on it. You can see right under the Exalta wording, there's, like, some gray areas. Like, almost like fingerprints. It feels a little bit, uh, sticky almost right there. This one feels smooth. I, I don't know. It could just be how it's supposed to. I don't know. Anyway, so yeah, if you want to get it, go ahead and get it. It's not completely necessary, but hey, I'm happy that I actually got a good NASCAR diecast for once. There was the air on the back, but this one right here, I didn't do an unboxing of this one. I should have, but I was thoroughly disappointed by this car. This car was actually really good, and I had to, I had to expect it was going to be bad, but... It surprised me, so thank you guys for watching, and I assume that I will be doing these more, because I have a few more cars coming in the mail, and then when they get here, I will do more unboxings of them.